Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprus. In this video, we are going to discuss about the reservation method in Odoo 17. So reservation method is a feature that is used both in inventory and sales module. And this method shows how and when to reserve the product for a sale order. And it is essential to control the flaws of uh, putting the product aside for fulfilling the needs of a sale order. So Odoo basically provides three types of reservation method that is at confirmation, manually, and before schedule date. At confirmation is the default option that is used for the re reservation method. And in this method, the products are automatically reserved as soon as the sale order is confirmed. So let's see the functionality. We can manage the reservation method for different operation types such as internal transfers, delivery orders, pick components, manufacturing, stored, finished products, pick and pack. So if you want to just manage with the reservation method for pick and pack, let's move on to the configuration settings because we need to ensure that we have enabled the uh, warehouses. And under the warehouses, we can just manage with the shipment for outgoing. And here, as you just drag down here, you would be able to find a section called uh, warehouses. So here you can see that we have already enabled and let's set uh, the warehouses. So let's move on to the configuration menu and under the warehouses, you can see the shipments like outgoing shipment and we have just set the outgoing shipment as three step like packing goods and sending goods in the output and then making delivery. So as we have just enabled this under the overview, you can see we can also manage the reservation method for the operation type pick at pack. But here we would like to make uh, the delivery of the item to the customer in one step. So I'm going to change the delivery of goods. Uh, directly um, in one step. So let's make the changes in the warehouses and let's move on. And now under the overview, you can see that all those operations type will be hidden. Now, if you want to just create a new operation type for managing with the uh, reservation method, you can just move on to the operation types and here you can just click on new where you can just provide the name of the operation type. And you can also choose the operation type such as receipts, delivery, internal transfers, manufacturing and repair. So for the time being, we are just going to manage the reservation method for delivery orders and you can choose that and here you would be able to find there are three reservation methods that is at confirmation manually and before schedule date. And we know at confirmation means as soon as a sale order is confirmed, product will be reserved. So to check the functionality, let's dive into the sales module and let's consider the product cabinet wood door. Here we have just received an order for a uh, cabinet wood door from the customer Anita Oliver. And here you can just choose a product which is cabinet wood door and you can just set the number of quantity that you want. So here she requires five quantity of um, cabinet wood door and you can just save this quotation and let's confirm the order. As you just confirm the order, you can see that a delivery smart app will be triggered over here and this shows uh, the product is available and the product is also reserved. So we can uh, see that um, under the product availability, this will be showing directly like product is available. Now you can just click on validate button to make the delivery of the item to the customer. And we have just done with that. And the second reservation method is manually. And this gives more control on reserving the product because this method do not automatically reserve the product. Instead, we have to check manually the availability of the product and then we have to reserve the product while after confirming the sales order. So this is used in the case of uh, prioritizing the deliveries of the item on certain urgent factors. Here yeah, now we're gonna just discuss about the reservation method as manually. So you can just change that into manual and in this case, as soon as the sale order is confirmed, the product won't be reserved automatically. Instead, we have to check manually the availability of the product and status. Then only we can just reserve the item. Now to check that, we can just move on to the sales module and let's consider the product that is a uh, cabinet wood door because we have just received uh, an order from the customer that is Ali Peterson for the product uh, cabinet wood door. And let's set the quantity as uh, 10 and let's confirm the order and you can just uh, try to make delivery of the item. So as you just try to make the delivery of the item, you can see that the product availability will be set to available. And you can also see that an additional button called check availability will be triggered here because we have chosen uh, the um, 
reservation method as manually. So here we need to check uh, manually the availability of the product. So let me click on check availability and you can see that the yellow color has just turned into green color under the product availability. And now we can see that the product is available because the status is updated likewise. And we can just deliver the item to the customer by clicking on validate button and we have just done with the delivery. Before schedule date and this method reserves a product for a sale order certain period of the scheduled delivery date of the item and this prevent the out of stock of the item in the inventory as the product are reserved in advance. So we can also manage the reservation method uh, just by going through the three roads and by the configuration and here you can see that we can just schedule like uh, reserve the product in advance before the scheduled delivery date. So here I just need to reserve the product one day before the uh, delivery of the uh, item to my customer. Uh, so that I can just prevent this from the out of stock of the item in the inventory. Now let's save this and later on um, we have to just consider the product. So we know the product is cabinet wood door and under the product we can see a button called inventory and here we can see a, a field called customer lead time. So customer lead time I'm just going to set it as one that is the delivery lead time of the product. So as soon as the customer just uh, makes an order for the product that is the number of days promised to the customer to just deliver the item to the, uh, I mean, that is the number of days promised to the customer to deliver the item. And here you can just uh, save this and later on, let's move on to the um, sales module and we have just received an order from customer uh, for the product cabinet wood door and the customer is just Joel Wills and here you can just choose a product which is cabinet wood door and you can see uh the expiry date and everything and let me save this and uh, we are just going to confirm the order and here you can see that um actually on 14th we have to just deliver the item to the customer and one day before the delivery of the item to the customer the product is just reserved and uh let's deliver the item to the customer and you would be able to find that the product availability is set available and all now we can just validate this so uh, this is how we manage with the um, before schedule date. So you can just define a specific reservation method for your inventory management uh, and you can also define how to control the flow of the stock in your sales order. So I hope this video clarifies how to use a reservation method in Odoo 17 inventory module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.